Thanks to Andar for sponsoring this video. Well, it's the Saturday of CES, although there's technically no more CES because they cut it off by day. So today is kind of a make videos and hang out my hotel room day. But first, we have to have breakfast. But first, let me show you what I'm packing in my fanny pack. Just calm down, it's a family show. So I'm gonna be packing up all this stuff here into my fanny pack here, which I have not been wearing as a fanny pack. I've been wearing it as a sling, calm down. So, uh, you know, the phone goes in the pocket, the charger actually stays here because the battery has been so good on the Pixel 6 Pro. My sunglasses, my DD mic, which I'm using right now, so I obviously can't show you guys, but that's what I carried in. My mask, hey look, it's my CES pass, um, which next year, hopefully it'll say media. And then I've got my Andar wallets. I do need to take with uh, with me today my passport wallet. That's the big one right there because I need to go get my PCR test so I can get back to Canada. My Popple wristband, some sanitizer, and some treats right here for people that meet up with me today. I got some Zach Talks Tech stickers and some cord burritos from Andar. You guys can see it wrapped up right there. So that's everything that's going to get packed up into here. And just like that, through the magic of the internet, everything went into this sling bag. Or fanny pack. Whatever. It's in there. All right, so now we're going to head down for some breakfast with TK and the poets and anybody else that shows up. Let's go. <laughs> I'm here at breakfast with uh, TK's Garage, TK Entertainment, and uh, I got some questions for TK. Some, uh, you know, in, in, you know, important questions we have to ask while we're <laughs> this guy and while we're at CES. What's one of the coolest things you saw at CES this year? Easily the BMW um, iX with the with the color color changing paint. The color changing paint. Yeah. Bank robbers everywhere are super excited about this car. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Now, here's an important question for you, TK. Uh, I have here my uh, my wallets, and in this wallet, go ahead and grab those two bills that are right there. Go ahead and grab those two bills. Hold them up for the people to see, okay? What do we got there? Show, show the people what we have. We have a, uh, a Canadian $20 bill, yeah. which will vastly be worth more than this American $20 bill probably pretty soon. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Can you tear that $20 Canadian bill in half. Try tearing it in half. Hold it up so for the people to see. Right here? Right there, right there. Hold it. Can you tear it? No, you can't. Wow. That, that's cool, right? That's called... That, well, I mean, I guess it's also a, a indicative of the actual currency. It's probably stronger than the American $20 bill. Because <laughs> <laughs> this but, will tear. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that'll tear. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay, so I have a newfound this because this is one of the first times I've had one of the newer. This is one of the newer twenties, yeah, right? One the, that's one of the newer ones. Yes, I like that. Yeah, I don't think you're counterfeiting this. You can actually like see through it. I know yeah. they did the euros like this too. Yeah, the, the euros and the uh, I believe also Australian currency is also very similar. It's like a polymer kind of yeah. material and whatnot. So, I think um, that's smart. so anyway, let me ask you this: If I were to throw, uh, if if we were go to go out to a certain type of club tonight, yeah. and and I threw this at. Uh, a certain type of person that maybe is, I don't know, would they laugh at me? No. I think, <laughs> if, if anything, well, it depends. It depends. See, there's, there's levels to the dancers, so to speak. You know, uh -huh. you, you start at the very bottom of Ratchet, and then you get to higher class, zaddy status. You know, the higher you go, right? And um, here in Vegas, I think you have a lot, depending on the club, you have a lot more higher end, so yeah, they would know exactly what that is, and they would probably stick that somewhere because they know it's not going to get destroyed, unlike this, which could get soggy, wet, and destroyed. So, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, TK, any other wise parting words for the people uh, for CES and the overall experience? I can tell you that, for me, I felt safe the entire time. I felt yeah. confident. There was sanitizer everywhere. My hands are bathed in it. Yeah. Um, I liked having the extra room. Some final thoughts about CES 2022. 
Well, major shout out to all the people that didn't come out here because they were scared. Um, you know, I appreciate them that didn't come out because it gave an opportunity for everybody else that came out here as creators and were perfectly able to show that they were safe. Mm -hmm. And major shout out to CES for having the balls not to cancel their event uh, and bow to all of the uh, BS and pressure. But, um, you know, the biggest thing is when you come out here to CES is don't take yourself too seriously. It's impossible to see the entire show. Don't try to do it. You'll kill yourself. Focus on the things that you want to see while you're here. And then it's really about meeting the other people that you work with and creators in the, in the, in the niche that you may be in. The networking. Yeah, and building your relationships with them. Outside of that, that's all this is really for for me. I mean, I'll hit a show floor day one and do what I want to see. And I don't go back to the convention center the rest of the time I'm here. It's all networking. So. There we go. Well, there you go, folks. The, uh, the insights from, from one TK Garage. And uh, now we know the different levels of the dancers. Uh, hopefully, we don't uh, run into too much ratchet tonight. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're going to keep it classy, right? Yes, yes. We're going to keep it, keep it classy. Uh, this is Zach. It's been a good CES, and I'm out. Oh.